This is amazing. Using Crew AI, now we can create multi agents with completely open source large language models. You are able to create a group of agents to create a blog post and it will be running locally on your computer. Not only that, for each agent, we are able to use different tools such as LM Studio, Jan AI, Olama, TextGen Web UI, completely local on your computer. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about blog post agent, which is a use case for Crew AI. We are going to integrate multiple open source large language model using many different tools. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be useful for many people like you. I have already covered beginners tutorial in regards to Crew AI, which I will link that in the description below. First, make sure you install Langchain Community, Langchain, Crew AI, Langchain Open AI, and then click enter. Next, pip install DuckDuckGo search, and then click enter. Now let's create a file called app.py, and then let's open it. Inside the file, from Crew AI, import agent, task, crew, and process. Next, from Langchain Open AI, import chat, open AI. Next, from Langchain Community, import Olama. Next, from Langchain Community Tools, import DuckDuckGo search run. Next, we are going to initialize the search tool. Now, we are going to define our first large language model using LM Studio. So, we are going to initiate the function chat open AI and then define the open AI base as the URL and the port number 123 slash v1, which we can find from LM Studio. In your LM Studio, make sure you download the required model and then go to the local server icon and click it. Then choose the model you want to use. I'm going to use Ziffer. Then click the Start Server button. Make sure you provide enough context length so that it is able to generate blog posts. Now we got the URL here. This is the URL which I'm entering there in OpenAI API base. I'm going to use Ziffer model. Now let's create Jan AI integration. Here we are going to provide this URL and this model. Here is the Jan AI application running. I can see the active model is Mistral Quantization 4 which I can see from the system monitor. Make sure you enable your API key from this enable API server icon. Next, we are going to initiate Olama and I'm going to run OCAR2 model. Make sure you run Olama run OCAR2 to download the large language model. Next, we are going to add one more tool which is text generation web UI. I'm going to use the same function chat open AI and then provide the base API URL, which is this. So I'm in text generation web UI folder. There I'm going to start the server by using bash start macOS.sh and then click enter. Now this is going to load and you can see the API base here and as the portal URL is here. I'm going to navigate to this portal URL. Here's the text generation web UI. I entered the open Hermes model and downloaded the model. Then I refresh the icon and then click the open Hermes model and then click load to load the model. Now I can see successfully loaded. Now we have added four tools with four different large language models. This is powerful. I've already covered LM Studio, Jan AI, Olama, and Text Generation Web UI, Beginners Tutorial, which I will link those in the description below. Now we have initiated all these tools. Now we are going to create agents. First is a researcher agent. It is going to research using LM Studio LLM. And the search tool which it's going to use is DuckDuckGo search. So it can go and search the internet. Next, the Insight Researcher agent. It is going to find key insights from the data provided by the researcher agent. Next, the writer agent to write the content based on the insights. It is using Olama. Next, the formatter agent to format the incoming text into Markdown. This can be used in various different tools such as WordPress. Now we have completed the agent creation task. Finally, we are going to assign task to each individual agent. First is the research task is to Identify the next big trend in AI by searching the internet. Next, insight task to find key insights from the data. Then the write task to write a blog post on the findings. Finally, the format task, format the text in Markdown. Now I'm going to instantiate a crew, tech crew with the crew function, providing the list of agents and the list of tasks. The process sequential and then closing the bracket. Next, we are going to begin the task execution, tech underscore crew dot kickoff. We are going to save that in the result variable and print the results. 
that's it. As a quick summary, we integrated four different tools such as LM Studio, Gen AI, Olama, and TextGen Web UI. All of these four tools are running different large language model completely locally on my computer. I'm using M2 with 32 GB of RAM. Then we are creating four agents, one to research, then find the insight from the research, third, write the content for the research, and finally format the research article into a blog post. Next, we are going to run the tech crew and making it all work together and printing the results. Now I'm going to run the code. In your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. Now I can see it's entering new crew agent executor chain and it's going to search using DuckDuckGo search. You can see the LM Studio logs that the response is getting generated. You can monitor the status from Jan AI, the amount of RAM usage, CPU usage. You can see text generation web UI log that a request has come through. I can see the Ziffer model and the Mistral model worked fine. When coming to OCA model, it is finding some difficulty in creating the blog article. So I'm going to change the OCA2 model in Olama and change that to Mistral. Now I'm going to run the code again. Seems like it's looping here. Do I need to use a tool? Yes. And then it's not providing relevant information. This is normal in open source large language model. And also I'm using a quantized version. I'm going to fine tune the instruction further. I'm going to say, don't use any tool. Similarly, I'm going to use, say, don't use any tool. I'm going to run this again. I can see it's properly searching the internet using DuckDuckGo. Next is going to the next agent and the next agent. And finally the formatter. And then I got information like this. I can see half of the information got lost when it was passed through agents. The main reason behind this is not because of the fault in our integration, our integration, everything working fine, which we can see from the log, but it's because of the open source large language model. And also it's because of the quantized version, which we are using. So if you use unquantized version and properly choose your large language model and also have a proper prompt, then it's going to work as simple as that the integration of open source large language model. One final thing which we are going to try. What is going to happen if we use OpenAI in this scenario? Let's see. I'm going to remove the LLM from the formatter, from the writer, and from the researcher. Now I'm going to go to the terminal. I'm going to export my OpenAI API key like this, and then click enter. Next, Python app.py, and then click enter. It is searching the internet using DuckDuckGo search. It is passing to the next agent with the key insights. It's very clear. Next is passing to the writer to create a blog. And I can see a very decent blog here. Next, that is passed to the formatter to format. And finally, here is the formatted version with hash as heading in Markdown. And you can just copy this content and then paste it in WordPress or any content management system. This output is very clear. So with your open source, make sure it's unquantized, try different models, and also do prompt engineering. That's it. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.